Hello, today I'm going to the closed London Underground station, Aldwych. Originally opened in 1907, it's situated at the start of the Strand and was originally called the Strand, but as you'll see later, its name was changed to avoid confusion. It was served mostly by shuttle trains from nearby Holborn, but was never a huge success. The station and branch were considered for closure several times. Service was offered only during weekday peak periods from 1962, and finally discontinued altogether in 1994, when the cost of £3 million to replace the lifts was considered too high for the income generated. Only about 900 people a day were using the station by 1990. Disused parts of the station and the running tunnels were used during both world wars to shelter artworks from London's public galleries and museums from bombing. It was used as a shelter for members of the public too. Construction of the station began on the 21st of October 1905 to a design by architect Leslie Green. The station was built with three circular lift shafts. Only one of the shafts was fitted out with two lifts. There was an idea at one time for Aldwych Station to become an interchange for Temple nearby on the Circle and District Lines. This is a copy of the notice I mentioned earlier from 1915 that advises of the change of name. Now, to reach the platform level, there are 160 steps down. The platforms are 92 feet 6 inches below street level and are 250 feet long, which is shorter than the standard length of a tube station. In March 1908, the off-peak shuttle began to use the western platform at Aldwych and low usage led to the eastern tunnel being taken out of service in 1914. The track here is the original. The posters on the wall were left by the many film and television companies who have made productions here. Crossing over now, this is the platform that was in use until Aldwych closed in 1994. The train is used for exercises by London Transport and the emergency services. It is possible for members of the public to visit Aldwych on guided tours, but they are in great demand. And watch out for the ghost, an actress from the Royal Strand Theatre, taking her final curtain call.